Hi, I'm Stephen Cronin. Um, thank you for joining me for another watercolour demonstration. I'll just quickly whisk through my materials for a start. These are Cotman watercolour tubes of ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. I'm using the, the large, that's one and three quarter inch wide Ron Ranson hake brush. And we've got 15 by 11 Fabriano. All links in the description if you want to um, buy any. And the focus today is going to be on a big, big, bold, bright coloured sky. With a, just a little bit of land underneath. But I, I really want a bit of tan on the sky. See what? Try and get a bit of colour in it. So I'm going to start off with a bit of. Raw sienna. I'm going to get a bit of careful that that doesn't turn to green. I added a bit of lemon yellow there, but let's go light red and lemon yellow. Let's try and make it a sort of orangey colour, a bit more red. I'm going to clean the brush and I want some blue over on this left hand side. Let's get a bit of ultramarine in there. Ultramarine. You know, it's times like this where uh, I do miss it being neat out the tube actually. I'd really love to just grab hold of some meat. Ultramarine. And just bash it in rather than this. Slightly dirty, I've got to be honest. People do say, you always your palette so dirty and, and this this is where I do sometimes store to get a strong blue colour. But anyway, let's just stop moving and get on with it. Um, right, let's go. Let's get that nice bright yellowy colour in there. Let's just get it in. Payne's grey there. It's a little bit dark up there. Still not 100% happy with this bit in the middle. I want this a bit lighter. A little bit lighter. So I'm sort of almost taking the paint off as I do this rather than putting it on. Going back to the white of the paper. And I want that light there. Let's get this a bit lighter as well. On that light there, so that when I go in with a darker colour, which will be a bit of a lizarding crimson, a bit of Payne's grey, maybe a touch of ultramarine as well. And some big dark clouds across there. These are just above the horizon line. Still Create a bit of texture in this, these flowers. More over here, just watching the water dripping down the page. Down 
is just now the landscape's going to be the headland, quite a low horizon line, so Pad stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull this flat against this piece of plywood here that I've got it fixed to. And then what I'm going to do is can't resist having a quick back around. Work out where this headland is going to be. So, pretty quick. that's all I need. Don't need it too dry. I'm just going to use in crimson, Payne's grey, a bit of ultramarine as well. Just generally the very dark mix. And then, right underneath that big sky, we've got. bit of land. Stash some in there as well. The land sort of sweeps around. Something like so. Now what I might do is get out the card and just scrape a few little rocks in here and there. There's just a little little sort of estuary where it's going out into the sea. So let's just get that a little bit stronger. As it's, as, it, as it's drying, it will just go on stronger and stronger, but there's no point just putting wet on, on wet. Because you're just sort of moving wet paint around. To get it darker, you'll have to let it dry a little bit before you put the darker paint on. It sort of goes on in layers and it just gets darker and darker. The more layers you put on until it's almost black, really. Look at that, it's just quite a few little and rocks on this little beach. Quick dry. Now I'm going to determine now where I want the. I'm going to put a yacht, a yacht in. So it's it's going to go about there, I think. So it's going to dry. Out. I need to dry that because what I'm going to do is take the little brush, little rigger brush. This one here, and then I've got a tissue in the other end, and then what I'm going to do is just damp using a clean damp brush. Just take out like a little sail, like a little triangle shape. What I'm doing, I'm just wetting the paint, re-wetting the paint that I put down earlier. I just want to get back to the white of the paper, basically. So if I just re-wet that, and then dab it with a 
tissue just to take the paint off. I've got a, a little white sail. Might take you two or three attempts to do it, but you'll get there. Um, and you'll probably find it gets bigger and bigger as well as you mess about with it. And what was what you meant to intend to be just a little tiny little thing just gets bigger and bigger. You'll see what I mean when you when you play around with it. Um, you can always put a little Very small birds because these are very far away. I'm going to call that one finished. Just a quick impression there of a little little estuary flowing out to sea. Just pop my name down there. Right, so I'm just going to stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with the main sun. So if we go in and have a closer look at it, starting with the sky, and it was quite a chaotic start, colour fling, being flung all over the place. But uh, it was predominantly trying to create a sort of yellowy glow down the middle, sort of orangey yellowy glow, and then reflected it in the water below. So the part, it's, it's sort of split in two halves. It is, you've got your ultramarine, where you can see the sky through the clouds there, reflected in the water. And on the right hand side is where all the drama's happening, sort of storm clouds and sun behind the, these dark clouds there. Um, again, reflected down below in the estuary. Then this big storm cloud here. You don't want too much water in it because the sky was already very wet and it'll just drip straight down the paper. But it's alizarin crimson and Payne's grey. Trying to use the corner of the height brush, to just to try and get sort of random shapes and patterns in there. And then there's just little bits of uh, tissue work here and there, just dabbed out, just trying to create some texture in the clouds. So once the sky was in, it was then get the headland in, nice and dark, using the same colour as the uh, the storm clouds above. And then the little bits here where you, you you don't paint over, it just looks like little little details, just purely by accident. I mean, that could be rooftops or, or anything in, right in the distance. And then this is where I put my little boat in. Just took it out with a damp rigger brush and a tissue just to get back to the white of the paper. In the foreground here, lots of scraping with the corner of the card to create these rocks on the, along the shoreline. Few more on the left hand side. So you, you can imagine as I scrape them in, you've sort of got the, the lights coming from here, reflected on the rocks and like shadows on the left hand side. That's why I sort of scraped them in left handed on that way. And then I did it right handed on that way. So it's coming from here, you've got the light hitting the left and the shadow on the other side. It sort of happens automatically. So that's it for today. There's another painting done. Um, I hope you're painting along with me. Please subscribe if you'd like to become part of the community. I'd love to have you with us. Um, so keep practicing. Any questions, don't be afraid to ask, and I'll see you again soon.